I'm Ron Lloyd, the Director of Agronomy here at 360 Yield Center. And today I want to spend a little time and talk about the 360 soil scan and just some best practices to make sure that we get the best quality sample that we possibly can. The first thing we're going to do as we fire up the machine and we get our iPad connected is to calibrate the sensor. That's one of the most important things that we want to start with to ensure that we have accuracy. One of the great things about soil scan is it comes with a 20 part per million nitrate solution that we'll put here under the sensor and we'll have it calibrate. And it'll take a few minutes and it'll get the machine calibrated. After we get it calibrated, I want to go back to a recent video that was done by Jason Keenis, one of our research agronomists here at 360 Yield Center, where he talked about the proper way to do soil samples in the field. And where he left off was to talk about mixing that soil. And he referred to those soil samples, particularly as they come out of a core, he talked about them as, as pieces of carrot, as carrot sticks. So that's the first thing I really want to hit, because I think this is a place that we can eliminate some error. As you get that soil sample, and you have those carrot sticks, it depends on the soil texture, and it depends on the soil moisture, of how you're going to have to mix those samples to be able to get one good homogeneous mix of soil. Sometimes you can do it with your hand. A lot of times where we get into higher clay content or higher moisture soils, we may have to use a food processor or blender, something you can pick up at a local store, fairly economical. It'll do a good job of getting that soil sample in a very good consistent mixture. But then when you take your scoop and you scoop that up, you'll have granulars enough that you're able to smooth it off and get the proper volume of soil that we want to put into our cup. As we fill that cup with the two scoops of soil, we'll move to the mixing station. And as we move to the mixing station and we put it in, we'll start it and we'll have the water come in and it'll, it'll mix it up. It's very important after you go through that step and before you put it under the sensor to observe that cup and look at it. I like to take the scoop and use that handle where it's completely clean, make sure it's clean, and just kind of stir it a bit. Again, when we get into high clay content soils or some that are kind of sticky, you may have some that stick to the side. And it's very important that we get as much of that in solution. As we add that water and we mix it, what we're really trying to do is to get the nitrate ions that are in that soil into the solution because that nitrate ion sensor is going to sense how many nitrate ions are in that actual solution. So take just a minute, it won't slow you down much, Stir it up, make sure that you have, have it in you know, fairly good slurry, and then we'll move it over here into the sensor. So we'll remove our calibration and overnight bottle that has the 20 ppm solution. We'll place our sample under, we'll make sure we get it fit in there correctly, and then we'll run our sample. Last comment I want to make in this video is just about that nitrate sensor, the ion sensor. The ion sensor over time will fill with particles and will start to get clogged. Starting in around July 9th when we have our next app update, we're going to have a function within the app that will allow you to test your nitrate sensor. We're very excited about that, um, and I should say the tip. So we're excited about that because now you're going to be able to understand, hey, is it still fine? Is it green, yellow, or red? Red, obviously change it. Green, you're fine to go. Yellow, you probably want to think about getting another tip on order. So, so those are the, the things that we tend to run into most common when we have questions about precision and accuracy. If you follow those tips, we think you'll have a very successful experience with 360 Soil Scan. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at www.360yieldcenter.com. Thanks.